Hi. So, um, Neil Gaiman gave permission for people to use his works, um, to read to kids during quarantine, and I have two little nephews, Leo and Jeffrey, so I wanted to read them a bedtime story, uh, since I can't do it in person. Um, so my absolute favorite Neil Gaiman story is Instructions. Um, there's videos of him reading it on YouTube, which are obviously going to be much better than this one. Um, I also struggle with the way my voice sounds, so we'll get through it. Um, anyway, this book means a lot to me. It's very comforting, very calming, and um, that's something I think that kids of all ages can use right now. So let's get started. Instructions by Neil Gaiman. Touch the wooden gate in the wall you never saw before. Say please before you open the latch. Go through. Walk down the path. A red metal imp hangs from the green painted front door as a knocker. Do not touch it. It will bite your fingers. Walk through the house. Take nothing. Eat nothing. However, if any creature tells you that it hungers, feed it. If it tells you that it is dirty, clean it. If it cries to you that it hurts, if you can, ease its pain. From the back garden, you will be able to see the wild wood. The deep well you walk past leads to Winter's Realm. There is another land at the bottom of it. If you turn around here, you can walk back safely. You will lose no face. I will think no less of you. Once through the garden, you will be in the wood. The trees are old. Eyes peer from the undergrowth. Beneath a twisted oak sits an old woman. She may ask for something. Give it to her. She will point the way to the castle. Inside it are three princesses. Do not trust the youngest. Walk on. In a clearing beyond the castle, the twelve months sit about a fire, warming their feet, exchanging tales. They may do favors for you if you are polite. You may pick strawberries in December's frost. Trust the wolves, but do not tell them where you are going. The river can be crossed by the ferry. The ferryman will take you. The answer to his question is this. If he hands the oar to his passenger, he will be free to leave the boat. Only tell him this from a safe distance. If an eagle gives you his, a feather, keep it safe. Remember that giants sleep too soundly, that witches are often betrayed by their appetites. Dragons have one soft spot somewhere, always. 
Hearts can be well hidden, and you betray them with your tongue. Do not be jealous of your sister. Know that diamonds and roses are as uncomfortable when they tumble from, from one's lips as toads and frogs. Colder, too, and sharper, and they cut. Remember your name. Do not lose hope. What you seek will be found. Trust ghosts. Trust those that you have helped to help you in their turn. Trust dreams. Trust your heart and trust your story. When you come back, return the way you came. Favors will be returned. Debts will be repaid. Do not forget your manners. Do not look back. Ride the wise eagle. You shall not fall. Ride the silver fish. You will not drown. Ride the gray wolf. Hold tightly to his fur. There is a worm at the heart of the tower. That is why it will not stand. When you reach the little house, the place your journey started, you will recognize it although it will seem much smaller than you remember. Walk up the path and through the garden gate you never saw before but once. And then go home, or make a home, or rest. The end. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope everybody is staying safe. And um, I love you. Support Meals on Wheels.